la, la, I la. love it. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> oh, and a big, big, big congrats on Mac and Rita. It's as funny and charming and sweet as seems, Diane. <laughs> Thank now, you very much. You're welcome. Here's here's what I love about the film, right? What I mean, do you love? it explores the experience of a woman over seven, 70, seldom seen yeah. on the big screen. Is that what you got interested in uh, making Mac and Rita? Yeah, definitely. You're right. Yeah. And I heard that you collaborated with the filmmakers. How was it, Ms. Diane, in shaping up your character? Tell us more about it. I just, I mean, look, once the script was there, once the script was okay and we were all set together, it was just, yeah, there it is. We played it. We did it. And yeah. uh, the great thing about doing it was that it was, um, it, it, everybody felt comfortable. The women were happy, you know, and we were all kind of together in this world that, you know, you don't get very often. And so the movie has a big heart for me. Oh, you're absolutely yeah. correct. They were <laughs> wonderful. Oh, and, and you seem to be having so much fun, though, Miss Diane, as well. Right. How did you find your inner 30-year-old, Miss Diane, your inner Elizabeth Lail? <laughs> I don't really think of myself as having an inner 30-year-old. I feel like I'm having this year of my life this way and having had the experience of that movie and being with all those fabulous women and having been, it was just a really nice movie. You, know, you, don't, you don't have that very often. It was relaxing and wonderful. Exactly. Now at its heart of the film is it's about finding yourself, right? It's speaking your truth, your authentic self. Do you agree with me on that, Ms. Diane? Um, I think that uh, I, I see it as I had an opportunity to just throw everything to the wayside and just do whatever was going on and play this and do that and be a jerk here, but have a fabulous time here and flirt with a man who was like 40 yeah. years younger than me, but not really. And so for me, that's as good as it gets. You right. Know, you, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's a pleasure to be with the people that we were acting with, with our director everything about it was just really special. And of course, kissing and making out with Dustin. Well, let's Miller. not discuss that too. <laughs> you're the best. You're, you're on it. <laughs> and of course, Ms. Diane, one of the things that I love about the film is it's partly shot in the city I love, Palm Springs. Amen. <laughs> How was it shooting in the desert? And what do you love best about Palm Springs, Miss Diane? I've always loved Palm Springs. It was, and when I was young, it was like, oh my God, we could get to go to Palm Springs, Mom. Just could we just kind of have a hotel room once, once every at night? You know, I mean, it was just everything about Palm Springs exploded when I was younger because, it, and still, I love Palm Springs. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time there, and I really love it. Do you live there? I live there, Miss Diane, and I love the city. I mean, I it's love the whole yeah. desert. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of magical. Real quick, and now I'll be looking for Simon Rex's mysterious shaman now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny. <laughs> a big, big, big congrats on Mac and Rita again. And wherever you. you go, there you are. So regress and be blessed, Miss Diane. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck on everything, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>